Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to the Hemingway Land YouTube channel. We've got a new property for you today located up in northern New Mexico's Colfax County, and this is one I think you guys are really going to like. Now, full disclosure, this may not be one that everyone can afford, but if you can, I think you're really going to want to check this one out. So the property we're talking about today is a 9.94, basically 10-acre lot located in Hidden Lake, which is an exclusive residential subdivision situated just south of Angel Fire. Set against the backdrop of Wheeler Peak and featuring private lake access, this upscale community is home to, really, some of the state's most discerning residents. Populated with six- and seven-figure log cabin homes whose privacy is maintained by the towering Aspens and Douglas firs which surround them, Hidden Lake is a community treasured by people who both appreciate nature and value luxury. So, the Hidden Lake subdivision is located off the state-maintained New Mexico Highway 120. And the subject property is located along Mertz Place, which is a graded dirt and gravel road maintained throughout the year by the Hidden Lake Association. Now, because of these facts, the subdivision should be easy to access and navigate in any vehicle type. Located as it is in the higher elevation that experiences regular snowfall, however, a larger truck or off-road capable vehicle is recommended, particularly during winter months. Now, it should be noted, guys, that while most maps identify the road the subject property is located along as Mertz Place, there are a few which identify it as Hidden Lake Road. So, for instance, if you come down here on the listing page in the Maps and Boundaries section, you'll see, for instance, that we have an interactive map that shows this as Hidden Lake Road, but we also have a plat map which shows this as Mertz Place. So, just something to keep in mind if you do go out to scout the property. So, in the interest of preserving the natural appearance and scenic beauty of the region, the Hidden Lake subdivision is one that's been created without the presence of above-ground residential power lines. Instead, all power and telecom utilities are underground, and this includes at the subject property where utility boxes are present. Now, because of this fact, it really should be neither difficult nor expensive to get service connected to whatever you choose to build on the land. And anyone who wants to investigate the costs associated with that or have their contractor investigate those costs, you can contact the Kit Carson Electric Co-op, which is the local utility that services this region. And if you come here to the property details section of our listing page and click on the Access and Utilities tab, you'll notice that we have it linked down here. Additionally, under our Helpful Links tab, it is also linked right here. So when it comes to zoning, Hidden Lake is zoned R4, single-family equestrian, and that's a designation which permits for low-density single-family housing and limited equestrian uses. As is to be expected, however, Hidden Lake is governed by a property owners association, the HLPOA, which is an organization actively involved in the community through their work in road maintenance, lake upkeep, conservation efforts, and most notably, fire prevention, which of course comes in very handy in such densely forested regions like this. Whatever the case, Hidden Lake defines itself as a covenant and architecturally controlled community, which means that rules exist for land use and development, and those rules are enforced, most notably by the Architectural Control Committee. And this, of course, is a committee which oversees approval and permitting for all homes built within the subdivision. Now, it should be noted, guys, that while many buyers may recoil at the suggestion of rules or governing organizations, Good POAs, good ones, can be a benefit to the land and homeowners in their community as they help to not only beautify the region, but also ensure that property values increase over time. And of course, if you're going to spend the kind of money on a property like what we're asking for this one, that is something that you're going to want. Now, of course, as always, guys, if you come here to the property details section of the listing page and click on the zoning restrictions tab, you'll see that we've got the covenants and conditions and restrictions for Hidden Lake helpfully linked over here in this PDF, which of course will open up a separate window and allow you to review these at your leisure. This of course, however, is a long and some would say tedious document. So just to kind of go through this and give you the Cliff Notes version, the notable restrictions enumerated in this document include such things as all dwellings must be permanent structures, dwellings must consist of a thousand square feet minimum, all homes must be built on permanent foundations, no trailers may be used as homes, uh, properties may not be fenced with barbed wire or chain link, and roofs must be constructed from fire retardant materials. Most notably within these covenants, however, is the fact that, shockingly, uh, RVs, campers, and tents are acceptable for up to 120 days. Now, of course, this is always the case when you're building the permanent structure. You're always allowed to live in something part-time while that process is underway, but it's interesting to see that they do actually allow these properties to be used recreationally throughout the year, again, for limited periods of time, such as 120 days.
And it should be noted, guys, that anyone researching zoning or land use within a region governed by a property owners association should know that whenever county zoning and POA regulations conflict, the more restrictive of the two will normally supersede the other. So if you're doing some research on potential things that you might like to build out here, if the land is feasible for those purposes, that's just something good to keep in mind, okay? Now, of course, guys, all this zoning stuff aside, we don't want to bury the headline here, which is that one of the great advantages and really most enviable features of owning land in this subdivision is, of course, the private access to the lake that owners and their families are afforded. Now, annual dues, of course, contribute to the upkeep of the lake, as well as keeping it stocked with what locals know to be trophy trout. But the point is you can enjoy the lake both from a boating and fishing perspective as well as relaxation along the shores, picnicking, hiking, camping, so on and so forth. Now, just to talk about the property for a second here, guys, let's get into some specifics. When we talk about the topography, despite its location in such a mountainous region, the subject property is surprisingly flat and features none of the sort of slopes, cliffs, or ridges common within this area of the state. So this, of course, is a benefit to anyone looking to build their dream home as it not only allows for construction on really any portion of the property, but will also serve to make it more affordable to develop. And it should be noted, guys, that uh, the property features a sort of clearing running through the center of the parcel from the road to its back end. The reason for such a clearing is unknown or unclear, if you will, but uh, it would appear that the trees were once removed, so some sort of path or driveway could be constructed. And uh, if you look in the photos of the gallery at the bottom of the listing page here, you can see some of what I'm talking about. Now, it should also be noted, guys, if we go to the parcel map here, you will see that situated to the immediate east of our subject property is this large chunk of land over here. This is a 25-acre lot, which is designated as a conservation easement or quote-unquote wildlife corridor. And what this means is that those 25 acres cannot be developed and thus an extra degree of privacy will be afforded to anyone who lives on the subject property. It also means that there will be an extra 25 acres of forested land for you and your family to hike and explore. Now, just to give you guys a sense of the types of homes that you find in this part of the state, but particularly this subdivision, the neighboring home site boasts three bedrooms, seven bathrooms, is 10,000 square feet in size and is valued at $9 million. This suggests, at least to me, that the region is not only a great place to live, but also to retire or vacation at. Additionally, given the exclusive nature of the surroundings, I say there's a lot of potential here for an Airbnb. Now, finally, guys, when we talk about the surroundings, I mentioned earlier that the property sits just outside of Angel Fire. Angel Fire is, of course, a town, but it is also a resort. More specifically, a ski resort featuring 67 ski trails and two high-speed lifts, not to mention an 18-hole PGA golf course, tennis courts, and country club. And, of course, the resort also has a full-service airport with an 8,900-foot runway capable of accommodating numerous private jet types, including a Lear 45. So if you are one of the 1% coming out here to buy land and make Hidden Lake your new home, you won't have to commute from Denver. In addition, guys, Eagle Nest and Cimarron Canyon State Parks are right in your backyard, each offering plenty of opportunities for fishing, boating, hiking, camping, and, of course, numerous equestrian trails. Plenty of opportunities for hunting in this part of the state as well, as you are right next to the Carson National Forest, which, of course, is home to plenty of elk, mule deer, wild turkey, and other critters. And it wouldn't be a video about land in northern New Mexico without pointing out your proximity to Taos, in this case, roughly 35 miles from the subject property. You will find the vibrant community, home to plenty of galleries, museums, and restaurants, not to mention the Taos Ski Valley and some of the best skiing in America. With all that said, if you are interested in purchasing this property, Hemingway Land is the owner, but we have it listed with New Mexico realtor and friend of the site, Paula Madapa of New Mexico Mountain Properties. Her contact information, which you see displayed here on the screen, will also be included on our listing page as she will be handling the sale on behalf of our company. Paula, by the way, it should be noted, represented Hidden Valley during the original sale of all these properties, which makes her extremely knowledgeable about this region and an excellent person to talk to if you have questions we did not answer here. With all that said, guys, thanks as always for watching, and we will see you in our next video.